Falls City, parts of southeast Nebraska, Nebraska picked up two to four inches of rain between about Beatrice and Falls City. Well, literally between the two cities because Beatrice was at about eight tenths of an inch. Three quarters in Columbus, more than a half an inch in Norfolk and in Lincoln. Around the metro, about a quarter to a half an inch, give or take. Not much in western Iowa, and they need it in Denison, just a few hundredths of an inch there. A little blue sky peeking through in downtown Omaha. 73 at the airport. Northeast winds at about 5 to 10 miles an hour. And that dew point's actually a little better. Dew points in the low to mid-60s. Feeling pretty good. But the clouds should start to lift back north, so enjoy the sun while we have it. And the dry weather as well. There's the next round of storms starting to take shape across western South Dakota. That's going to dive south and east later on this evening and overnight. And the potential is there that we could see some severe weather, uh, kind of like what we went through last week with overnight thunderstorms. The best chances are going to be off to our west, North Fork, Columbus, David City, Lincoln, and Beatrice late this evening and overnight. Damaging winds, maybe a little bit of hail being the main issues, but then additional heavy rainfall, lower severe weather chances toward the Omaha metro and into western Iowa. So high temperatures this afternoon in the upper 70s and low 80s. All depends on how much sun we get to mix in before those clouds roll back in. So you can see that we're going to see the clouds fill back in on Storm Predictor. Partly sunny through the end of the day. And then by 10 o'clock tonight, there are the storms off to our northwest. I'm saying anytime after 10 o'clock, we could start to see these storms move in. And then after midnight in Omaha, you can see that we could get clipped by this big line of storms potentially with some more of that beneficial rain. Some lingering thunder showers are possible through about, I would say, 7 or 8 tomorrow morning, but then everything should start to wind down, and we'll see a little more sun and dry out tomorrow afternoon. But there's another round of rain possible Tuesday night and into Wednesday, and as you can see, the purple areas here indicate local, not widespread, local amounts of probably between 2 to 4 inches, kind of like what we saw earlier this morning down toward Pawnee City. We can see that a couple more times between now and Wednesday. So impacts are going to be early tomorrow morning. Isolated storms could pop up, especially in the afternoon on Wednesday, but temperatures stay below average through the first half of this week in the low to mid 80s, up to 90. A better chance for scattered storms if you're planning on thing, doing things outside on Thursday. And then, man, that big heat and humidity, it's going to be back in full force by the end of the week. Those high temperatures are back in the mid 90s.